Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and I am back today with one of my favorite videos each month, my collaborator showcase. I hope you'll stick around and see what everyone on the team has made using the April 2021 sheet load of cards. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I love to see how each of my collaborators has interpreted the latest sheet load of cards, and I think that this is a video that you all enjoy too. It's so fun to see them all together, and then don't forget if you want to find out more information or see better close-ups of any of the cards I show today, that all of my collaborators are linked in the description box below. I know that they would love you to stop by, leave them a comment, leave them some love, give them a like or a thumbs up. They'll definitely appreciate it. Another thing that I've been enjoying in 2021 is each month during the showcase, I do feature one of my collaborator's set of cards in the thumbnails instead of mine. And for this month, I have featured my friend Danny's set and it is popped up here on screen, but you'll see more close-ups of it later. And of course, it will be linked in that description box below. Thanks so much, Danny, for letting me use your set this month. Not only do I love to see how my team has interpreted the latest edition, I also love to see how you have. Don't forget you can show us your sheet load in three different ways, here on YouTube, over on Instagram, or you can send in a card to my PO box for the end of the month video. I do have a video with all of the show us your sheet load guidelines and that is linked in that description box below. I think that many of you are loving the special mini slimline edition this month. I have already seen tons of cards over on Instagram, here on YouTube, and even on some Facebook groups that aren't the Call Me Crafty Owl Facebook group. I just love to see sheet load out in the wild. Don't forget that this month's hashtags can always be found at the top of the printable. Now, if you haven't downloaded your April sheet load of cards yet, or you want to see how I made my first set of the month, both of those cards, the debut with the free printable, and the process video will be linked in that description box below. And as always, it is a free printable for anybody who is subscribed to my channel. Let's see what the collaborators created this month.
Before we move on to the Instagram team cards, I thought it would be a great time to stop by with the QOTV or the question of the video. I have started asking these, I think, just in 2021, and I really loved getting to know each of you just a little bit better. For today's question, I would like to know, besides A2 size cards, what is your favorite card size to make? So an A2 card here in the US would just be a standard piece of letter paper that is cut in half and folded in half. It is generally the size I make for sheet load of cards, but like this month I had the mini slimline and before I have had a regular slimline card. I know that I've gotten some requests for different sized cards, so I thought if there was a wide variety of people who do like different sized cards, that I would keep that in mind for a future edition of sheet load. So as you answer today, keep that in mind. And also make sure when you answer the question to include the hashtag, hashtag QOTV, so I know that you have answered it and would like me to see it. For myself, if I had to pick a size besides A2 to create, it would probably right now be the mini slimline. I am just loving these, and my mom recently picked me up some of the non-security envelopes at the Dollar Tree so that I can send them out, so I have lots of envelopes that I need to fill with mini slimline cards. I absolutely love seeing all of the cards together like that. If you did as well, I always appreciate a thumbs up. Don't forget now, if you want to go get more information on any of the cards you just saw, you can click on those links in the description box below. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.